Hello guys, uh, welcome to this uh, Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we are not actually going to see about uh, Python, so we are going to like do this perceptron machine learning algorithm uh, classifier example. So this is the procedure for doing the perceptron machine learning algorithm classifier, and uh, we are going to solve this example. In this example, we have uh, uh, x0, x1, x actually x1 and x2. x0 is uh, something that we'll use for the cal calculation, which will be constant throughout x0. So we have this value 1, 2, 3, 4, then minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1, minus 5, and minus 4. So the output, the label for this one is 1 for this one, Actually, first two are classified as A and the last two are classified as B. So we call all the A's as 1 and all the B's as 0. And this is the step for uh, writing the algorithm to classify this one using uh, machine, machine learning. So first uh, we have this equation f of uh, wx. In this we are going to like multiply the weight which will assume here you could assume any value you want between uh, 1 and 0 so we're going to assume 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 for all w0 w1 and w2 and then we're going to calculate f of wx here and then we're going to check if f of wx greater than or equal to 0 we're going to assume the prediction is 1 if not the prediction is 0 and then, uh, so after doing this, we we come to a situation in which uh, few will be one and few will be zero, but it's actually one. I mean, uh, and then uh, so yeah, few will be zero and few will be one, and some will actually be zero, but it will show us one. So that's considered error. So we'll uh, take that one and then take that row. Let's say uh, here it is actually it's zero, but uh, this formula gives us one. So we take this row and then we solve for w again, all w zero, w one, and w two, and then we'll redo the entire calculation again. So we'll repeat that step till we get errors 0 or all predictions right so we'll do th this on excel sheet so here we have this is the actual data so this is something that we use for the calculation so now let's uh, go ahead and do this step this step so calculate And then before that, we have to uh, let's uh, key in the values of w0. Let's key them in over here. So I'll have some space. So I'll put this thing over here. I need uh, three columns. So I have three, so I'll key in the values of w0, w1, w2. So let's start with. Point for you could start with any value between uh, 0 and 1. So I'll start with 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Uh, now I'll do this thing. So for first row, it will be equals um, this one star this one plus this one star 0.5 plus this one star 0.5 and I'll make this one as a 0.5 okay so now we are actually calculating this for this one now I'll just drag it so it it, it do the calculation for this automatically. 
So this one, it's done. For this one, it's done. And for this one, it's done. So this is F W X. F of W X. Now we do the prediction as per the step that I mentioned here. If it's greater than or equal to zero, the prediction is one. If otherwise it's zero. So let's write an if statement over here. Equals if this one greater than or equals zero semicolon one semicolon otherwise zero. So close it and then press enter. So we got so we compare this so error we calculate error now. So the actual minus the predicted. So we have one error. So you type create another column error. So in this for these values of uh, w0, w1, w2 we have error 1. So let's repeat this. So now we're done with this step. So choose the row from the wrong prediction and calculate w0, w1, w2 using this formula. So we'll use this formula to recalculate uh, all the w's. So we do that here. Um, so let's do this. Equals this one plus n is the reading rate. We could keep any value between uh, 0 and 1, so I'll keep a point 0.2. Lower it is, uh, the better the output. So I'll keep point 0.2. Open brace. Output minus prediction. We're actually calculating for this one. So the output minus prediction is uh, minus 1. So you just pick that up. Mm. Star into the x value for this one. The x value for w0 is x0, so which is actually 1. Uh, I could actually select this. We are doing for this row, so you choose that one. Close. Yes. There seems to be wrong, something wrong with the syntax here. Yeah. I've just missed a, a multiplication symbol over there, yes. So it, it has actually done that for me. And then, <coughs> can I just drag it all the way? Okay. Will it do that right for me? Okay. I have to change this J to minus one, enter, minus one, enter. That's the formula actually. So the, the actual sheet has mistaken it. And then I'll cut the entire thing, paste, okay, everything is fine. So maybe I'll shift this over here. I'll do my next round of uh, f of wx calculation over here. Maybe I could just use this copy, escape, paste. I just have to change the value of uh, weight. Now in this case it's 0 0.3, 0 0.52, then 0.52. Press enter, then drag this down. It will calculate automatically for all the rows. So that's how the formula is in actual sheet. It's the basics of actual sheet. A lot of tutorials out there, you could watch them and then you get to know how to manipulate the cells. 
so now we calculated f of wx for the second set of uh, weight values so this is actually a attempt 2 so we are in a second attempt so we just do the same for this you could actually drag this one down delete this so it might be confusing so even in this case uh, and we also calculate the error uh, you have to hold this uh, small square and drag it so it will actually take the next consecutive uh, cells and then use the same formula that you have used over here to calculate the things for you see this one should be from here so okay okay actually if I key in it should be fine these are all the actual output and these are the predicted and the error we have one minus one for the same row again so we redo the uh, we have one error here so we redo the calculations from here so for the same row uh, so let's start from equals this one plus learning rate is same 0 0.2 output minus prediction in this case it's minus 1 star x0 this one so I'll put another star here because we got the error formatted at last time close this one and press enter this is all fine. I'll also close this up. Then close that. Press enter so it's actually showing away. Yes, that's fine, that's perfect. Uh, I may drag it like this. So it'll calculate for This one, this one, I think there's some error again. K4, where is K4? K4 is this one, okay. 0.2 is the reading rate. Then minus 1. Then 5. Then this one. Wait, let me check with the output. I think there's something wrong. Okay, what is that? That's wrong. L4. Oh, shit, it's, calcul it's calculating for this one. So I wanted to calculate for this one. So this row is the one that is given as the error. The third row. I'm actually calculating for the fourth row. My bad. Three. What is this actually? Wait, J5. A5. And this one is the error, which is J4. Okay. Now I drag it all the way. Okay. So these are all the new way that we got based on this formula so we put this here oh, control G right click and paste values and then uh, for this one we haven't come up with the error so we redo this again uh, f of wx same formula I'll just uh, copy this copy escape control Z copy, escape, place it here, paste, press enter, open this up, what is the value, Point 0.1, now we are keying in the weight, 5.4, press enter, then drag them down, 
What's wrong there? Let's start from here. Shit. Wait. Let me delete this completely. I'll take from here because it starts from there. Copy. Escape. Paste. Enter. Now drag it down for three more cells. Then change the values. Point one the new way that we calculated. Four and four press enter. Point one four four press enter. Point one four four press enter. So now we use the if statement. Actually, we could just drag it. Then delete these two. So then drag the error. So now we finally trained a classifier to do the proper classification without error. So after first attempt, second attempt, and third attempt, we got zero error. So we need three attempts to predict this small table. So yeah, that's it guys. This is what the what perception what is this? I forget name of the algorithm. Uh, okay. Perceptron learning rule. So if you guys have any doubts then uh, comment below. If not like and subscribe the video. See you guys in the next video and the continuation of the Python tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.